Yo, yo, it's me, James, otherwise known as Homeless Sock Puppet. Homeless YouTuber slash VTuber. I do all this out of a homeless shelter. The purpose of today's video is I've seen a lot of negativity on my channel. And not hate. Specifically, viewers kind of not believing in themselves. And I almost feel like, in a weird twist, people seeing me getting clean and trying to get out of my homeless shelter, kind of like in making YouTube along the way, has somehow gotten people to like root for me but find fault in themselves. And the purpose of this video is just to kind of remind you that I am a loser addict. And it, while it is awesome that you root for me, I just kind of want to talk to you about some of the things that I've messed up in my life so you feel better about yourself, you know? Because really, if you can empathize and relate with like a guy like me who's done worse for longer than you, there's no reason you can't look in the mirror, dude, and just find that motivation or do that and find that motivation you need. So that's the purpose of this video is just to say, even if you've never seen my channel before, first, hi, here is this video is just a little bit about myself. And I just want to vaguely go over some insecurities that have been shared with me by some people who subscribe to me and kind of just compare that to myself and not in a way to like compare misery. But just to remind you, if you can root for me, I'm probably way worse than you, and you should totally root for yourself. So now we begin our video. So first, look, I'll degrade myself a little bit, man. I, like, I get that I talk about, like, being a veteran, and there's a lot of, like, the people who watch my channel who don't really see it as, like, too much of a negative thing, you know, being, like, a homeless addicted veteran but like it is dude and listen that whole veteran thing don't let that amaze you too much like i am in a homeless shelter for a reason and you'll never hear me say anything like it was the stock market bro you know <laughs> i'm a screw up dude i screwed up a lot like a lot that's why i'm here you know i deserve to be here honor impresses people like status like being a police officer or firefighter or i just you know First, I want to remind you that, yeah, I may be a veteran, but I'm also a fuck-up. And I've fucked up bad enough to live in a homeless shelter for two years. That's how long I've had a room at this place. And this is not my first homeless shelter, dude. Okay? So if you're watching this video and you feel bad about yourself, just... Are you a part of a group of people who have been able to hang on to their housing? Because if you are a part of that functioning group... You're part of that reason that you all still have housing. Uh, whether you feel that way or not, you know? You're part of a successful group who has housing. Unlike me. So, bing bang bong, you should be grateful for that. Then I know, like, another one of my viewers made a comment, and it's like, well, man, I don't work, and I haven't for a little while. I really feel like shit. Here's something I don't even want to tell you. Look, it would, it would be a little bit over 10 years until I actually got my first job. Okay? I joined when I was 17. I got out when I was about 22, keep it a little vague, that long. I, I did not have a job, not a part-time job. I mean, I essentially couch surfed for 10, 10 years, including like couch surf with people that I dated, like fucking scum, you know? Look, man, that's, that's actual laziness. And if you get to do that, man, no matter what you've done in life, if, if you get to like fucking lay down and do nothing and I mean like do nothing to the point where like I have I'm still dealing with like muscle atrophy to the point where if you see me stand my legs are almost very close together like I need to do way more than squats you know I'm my muscles have fucking decayed dude that's how long I was immobile for just being an addict and kind of depressed and like that's so like what do you die when you die like what do you say you know like yeah I, uh, that's what I did for 10 years and not even have fun. I was miserable. You know, it was a, it was a waste of an existence. It was, I'd trade it for anything. It was so, it was a waste. I like, I pissed away 10 years of my life, man. And I was sad about it. It's not even like, you know, where were any of the good memories? So I'm not saying like, you could have even done worse than that, I think. But to the person who's like, who watches my channel and they're like, Oh man, you're trying to make it from a homeless shelter. Yeah, dude, but anyone has the right to try and improve life and try and make it. You don't 
need to have earned some badge. And also, like, I'm probably more of a fuck up than you are. So if you think, if you're rooting for me, you should root for yourself, honestly. Because I'm way more, <laughs> I'm way more lazy than you, dude. Okay, I promise. And then I know there is other people who have other insecurities. Some people who are like stricken with envy, even though they have a bunch of natural talent. And that's always a trip to me, you know, watching someone talk about that, who has like natural talent while I kind of goof around with making art with my YouTube kind of adventure, whatever this is gonna turn into. Like, sure, that's artistic, but it's not art in the same way that a lot of my viewers are actual artists, you know? And they have insecurities, dude. And look at me goofing off about wanting to try and write a book. And I, I work on it so slow, you know? I haven't even done my, my first video on that. I've just been like, oh, I'm doing this thing called Legend of Greenleaf. Dude, if a half-ass like me, if a wannabe artist like me, dude, can get support from you guys, then you guys can, like, pat yourselves on the back. Because I, I guarantee you're better at art than I am. You're better at writing than I am. You're better at drawing than I am. You're, you're better at it than I am, I promise you. Here's another one, right? Because, look, I choose to, maybe people share their insecurities with me because I am like the homeless guy, right? So it's like safe to share them with me, but still, dude, some of you shouldn't be worried about a thing. Another one of you were like, man, it has been a few years, bro, since I've had like a date or anything. I really feel like I can't ever do that again. Dude, here's another thing about me. It has been eight years since I have been on a date, even. Our gotten laid, dude. Our smooch, or a hug. You know what I mean? Eight years. It's been eight years. That's what happens. So look, to any of my viewers, to a dude or to, to a dudette, has it been eight years? Because <laughs> if it has, then look, I'm more relatable to you than you thought I was, right? We're the same. <laughs> I get it. But again, a lot of you, I don't think it's been eight years, man. And some of you, you might say it's been eight, but have you even really had eight? Like, are you really even old enough to say you've gone eight adult years with like no success? Because you might not be, you know? You might just be being really hard on yourself. Shut up. And then another person shared with me that like, they were really nervous that they were a huge screw up because a relationship that they were in, I know it seems like a lot of different people, right? But it kind of is, because look, I stream, I do the VTube thing, I do some art stuff, I do some homeless videos. Like people watch different things. <laughs> I know, shock, right? I have a small audience and they all come from different places. But yeah, I hear a lot of this, you know? And people feel like they're complete failures because they're worried a relationship's gonna end and some of their parents are upset with them for, you know, being a little lazy for a little amount of time. Nothing like I've been, you know? And it's just like, you know, I've burnt bridges before, but the bridges that I burnt were with all of the relationships that had substance, you know? Like, I could get people to feel bad for me if I was a liar. And it would be the truth still, you know? I could be like, X and X was terrible, and these relatives, you know what I mean? I could, I could really be like, these people have screwed me. But if you really looked at my life, you'd still see that just about every relationship that had substance to it, I ended those relationships, you know? I burnt those bridges. And you don't get to use like an excuse of being bitter or expecting something for like everything, you know? So look. If you still have some active relationships, even if they're rocky, if they're the ones you cherish, then you're like, my life would suck, you know? Without like this friend or this relative and you still have them. Dudettes are dude. You are doing far better than me, you know? Seriously, far better than me. And we'll do this last one about like opportunity, right? Like, I don't know if people are like, probably just gassing me up a little, you know, like, hey dude. Don't be down in the dumps, but some people are like, hey, you maybe have a half a clue how to do this. Maybe in a few years you can actually have an audience, right? Look, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be one of those guys who's like, oh, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I don't care. I do care. I would, I would love to entertain people one day, dude, somehow. But like, is that really going to happen? No. But if I made you at any point when <laughs> you're watching this video, you felt like, hey, 
yeah, I felt like, I felt like homeless sock puppet could maybe one day get a shit together and be awesome. <laughs> if, if you've seen that in me, you should see that in yourself, you know, because I guarantee whoever is watching this, you have more prospects than me by like 10,000, you know, and I'm not depressed about it. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm motivating myself to like make a better video next week <laughs> and uh, get back to editing and shit. But, you know, I was just in a good mood and I just kind of wanted to remind some of the people who watch my videos like, don't, <laughs> I'm glad you like watch my shit and find motivation. However, quit beating yourself up, viewer, because uh, you're doing way the fuck better than I am. And I'll like, I'm not telling you to quit complaining in my comments. I'm glad you guys reach out, but. You're better than you think you are. Peace.